in a non-slip depressional flow, the velocity and water has changed with time and position. The seven equations are a system of two equations to solve one dimensional and steady operational flow. A seminal application is a dam break wave. A theoretical application is a sudden release of a semi infinite reservoir in a dry channel. The ideal fluid flow solution was first resolved in 1892 by Ritter for a two dimensional horizontal channel. Ritter's work followed the South Fork Dam break on the Johnstone flood disaster in 1889. This photograph shows a main street looking east following the Johnstown flood. The Sudan dam removal generates two hydrodynamic processes, a negative wave propagating upstream within the undisturbed reservoir and a dam break wave advancing rapidly downstream in the initially dry canal. The ideal dam break wave can be analyzed using the method of characteristics on the simple wave approach. The initial backward characteristic advances in the upstream reservoir at rest with a constant water depth. It is a straight line. And the celerity of the negative wave is minus square root of g times d naught with d naught the initial reservoir depth. Let us now consider a forward characteristic issuing from the initial backward characteristic, where v equals 0 and c equals square root of g naught. The forward characteristic satisfies v plus 2c equals constant, hence v plus 2c equals 2 times square root of g naught. The leading edge of the dam break wave is along the forward characteristic issuing from the origin x equals 0, t equals 0. And at the tip, it satisfies u equal 2 times square root of g d naught. That is, the celerity of the dam break wave for an ideal solution is u equal 2 times c naught. Any backward characteristic issuing from the dam break wave front is a straight line because the initial backward characteristic is a straight line. With a trajectory, dx over dt equals v minus c. The integration of this equation gives a free surface profile between the leading edge of the negative wave and the leading edge of the dam break wave. It is a parabola at a given instant. At the location of the dam wall, x equals 0, the water depth and velocity are d equal 4 over 9 times d naught and v equal 2 thirds of square root of d naught. That is at x equals 0. The flow conditions are independent of time and correspond to critical flow conditions. The unit discharge at x equals 0 is a constant independent of time. The dam break wave is a symmetrical application of the seven equations and of the method of characteristics. Its ideal solution is reasonable except for the initial instant and at the leading tip. Some key assumptions behind Ritter's solution include zero bottom friction on hydrostatic pressure distributions. In practice, the bottom friction significantly affects the propagation of the leading tip in comparison to Ritter solution. All this are discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.